my name's Julia, and I'm going to talk about how much information you need to tell whether two triangles are congruent. The answer is not a lot, usually about three things, depending on the postulate that you use. So we're going to start with what's called the side-side-side postulate, and I'm going to abbreviate it with three S's. So if I have two triangles, and I have one, two, and three pairs of congruent sides, then I know that I have two congruent triangles. So I just need to check that all three sides are congruent with the corresponding three sides of the second triangle. Then I have my side angle side postulate. And in this case, I have one pair of sides. I have what's called an included angle. I'll explain that in a minute. And then a second pair of congruent sides. So the included angle means that the pair of angles that are congruent fall between the two congruent corresponding sides. So if I had this angle and this angle and these two sides, that does not qualify because this angle is not in between these two sides. I need this angle, the included angle. And then kind of the inverse of that is the angle side angle where I have one pair of congruent angles and included congruent pair of sides and then another pair of congruent angles angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle. Again, it needs to be the included side. Then I have angle, angle, side. So if I have an angle, another angle, and then a side, a non-included side, I have two congruent triangles. And then the final one is called the hypotenuse leg theorem. There's a hypotenuse, so it only applies to right triangles. So if you have two right triangles, remember that's hypotenuse leg. And if their hypotenuses are congruent, and then they share corresponding congruent, one pair of corresponding congruent legs, I know that I have two congruent triangles. So in general, you need to see that there are three things that are three corresponding parts that are congruent to tell that you have congruent triangles. My name's Julia, thank you.